a real estate deal in Roatan, Honduras, and if it seems too good to be true, or it's super special and only for you. Now I know, Roatan's a beautiful place. I love it here. You can kind of see through the filters uh, or my blinds. You can see the beautiful ocean right there. But anyway, I digress. We, we do have deals in Roatan. I get lots of calls about people really, really excited about something that seems too good to be true. They don't want to use realtor. They just want to go because they are special, which is true. You are special and there are deals. They don't always go hand in hand. And especially if someone that you don't know is coming up to you saying they're going to keep this wonderful deal for you, I would consider that almost like a used car salesman. Um, do good deals exist? Yes, they are. Well, you're probably gonna have to work with a reputable agent to find them. I talked last week about there's a house uh, on the east side of the island that's on the market for $325,000. It's got a pool, 3,000 square feet on 0.7 acres with 180 degree ocean views. That's the best deal I think that is on this island right now. The catch to it is the house is a little bit older. You need to renovate. Well, you don't actually need to do anything to it, but most people would want to renovate it and make it light and open. It is a little bit dark. Just change the windows out and, you know, turn that dark wood into something light or do whatever you want to it. But you'd probably need to do a little bit of work to it, which that is on the MLS. There's another deal that I think is absolutely amazing, but it is for the right buyer. There's a beautiful home in the Banks area, which is between West End and West Bay. It is an 11,000 square feet home that's decadent and it is beautiful imported Italian, Italian marbles. I believe it's um, travertine floors. It's just, and some 20 foot ceilings. It's really three houses in one, but two main luxury houses in one that would fit two, well, a really big family that wants two different homes and then a caretaker's home on the ground level. And then the entire roof is, is can be a patio, which is just, and that's not included in the 11,000 square feet. So this is just a fabulous, massive luxury home that just takes the right buyer. If you have a family and you have, it's under, actually it's now on the market for under a million dollars, which uh, if, well, if I had a purpose for it, I would completely want to get it because if you tried to build that, you're looking at with the luxury upgrades it has, at least $200 a square foot to build a concrete house, lots of imported, high, everything is high end in that home. It is on the darker side. So you're looking at things that were probably more in style 15, 20 years ago. Is it out of date? I wouldn't say that, but it's a lot more browns, which uh, they're coming back into style. So it's a little bit darker finishings than what you get with the whites and the grays that I'm told that are out. Um, but you get a lot of the natural wood. And anyway, it's beautiful. It's massive. And now it's on the market for under a million dollars. If you were to build that today, not including the land, which the land is a wonderful grab too, because you're in, uh, in between West End and West Bay, ocean views. I'd say the lot itself, they're going for two to 300 with how big it is and it's already landscaped and the retaining walls are already there. It's beautiful. And then to build that house, I'd say you're looking at least 2.2 million, probably 2.5. Um, and that's not doing all the Italian imports like this house did. So sometimes there are really, really good deals. The um, both of those houses are wonderful, but they are wonderful for the right buyer uh, and maybe not the best for a, well, it would be good for a vacation rental with the three homes. Uh, you're looking at under a million dollars. You're going to get a lot. Well, when you, if you see that and market it right, it is beautiful for a short or long-term rental. Otherwise I digress. So back to the, the deals in Roatan, do we have them and do are sometimes they too good to be true? Absolutely, um, but you're going to have to work with, you're gonna to have to really be in the know to know if it's a good deal because 90% of the deals, just like used car dealerships, they're not really that good of a deal. Uh, they might be a great deal. They might not be charging you all these things and you're like, man, I'm getting all of this for $200,000, but they tell me it's worth 500. It might be, uh, or it might be worth 150 or it is worth 500, 
you what you're but however you're just not actually getting title to it and you're just gonna pay for a piece of paper that is meaningless which those are I know I've been talking a lot of for sale by owner and if you know what you're doing and everything's above board by all means it's just we don't have a lot of fail safes here so is it worth that little bit of risk to get to get the value or to get that perceived savings or the deal maybe um it's just yeah it's really if if it's worth if it's worth the risk and reward sometimes it, sometimes it's great we've done a lot of off-market deals with especially in the luxury a lot of luxury homes just to keep get it smooth keep it private in and out you're nice and and then you do get a good deal when it's not you know you just it's when the priorities are there um someone just wants to move it on they just you know we being in the industry we just know a lot of those things so some of those luxury homes like that beautiful eleven thousand square foot house you can get good deals on those uh you just have to make some compromises and not not good or bad just you're you're getting a really really great deal on that one which i'm actually surprised that's still on the market because it is such a good deal um but it's just the risk reward um i'm currently have five listings that we are trying to get on the market right now from a deal that I was not a part of when they originally bought. We are fixing it now, which is mostly what I do is to fix things and make things done appropriately. So that's a lot of what I do behind the scenes. It's really not fun. I go to the municipal all the time. I look at records all the time. It's super fun paperwork. But when I have stories and sellers like this where they've been paying taxes on land for decades, um, they've not they haven't been to the property they're not their title might or might not be good and so we have to clean up that title we also have to make sure there's no uh squatters rights claims because that land if someone else had been living on it for 10 years uh then you do have claims to that land just as well if you're a honduran citizen so there's a lot of things that go into it these good deals and the reason why i'm mentioning that is they were told it was an amazing deal a deal of a lifetime well, I don't know if they actually purchased anything. So we are working on it. Paper trails are wonderful, but just be careful if you are looking for, you know, if you, there, you do have a deal, establish those relationships with those realtors. Um, but there, with that said, it's, we get a lot of rapid fire deals. And so it's good to create trust. And it's not just that you're working with a realtor or if you call me, I'm so very grateful when you call me, but it is going to take a little bit of time for me to just getting the leads from the internet or the calls. Um, you always get my honesty, uh, whether you like it or not, which is sometimes goes over better, better than not. So some of the sale meetings are like, how much do you think it's worth? Well, you know what? We can list it at that, but I believe we're going to be getting offers in this range. So that's my, that's my nice, pretty sandwich right there. It, it does take a little bit a while to establish the trust with the realtors on the island or in anyone that works in the real estate industry. Um, and it's just, and it's because we don't have a lot of those really, really good deals. You have to be in one of the no positions to where you're going to get one of the best deals. Uh, the two homes that I've talked about, I've been telling people, and actually there's a lot of other homes in Gibson Bite that I think are really, really great too. And I'm like, guys, they built this property before all the wood prices went up. Like you couldn't build this today if you wanted to. The construction's really, I mean, it's not flawless because I don't think anything here is, but it's, I would buy it um, if I wasn't already working on another project what is right in my backyard. So anything that seems too good to be true in Roatan, Honduras, it's kind of one of the lies in Roatan. Do they happen? Absolutely. It's just more of a matter of doing your homework and being in the right place at the right time, um, which, you know, that's kind of my job. But it, those deals are also like used cars, car dealerships where some are, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes so thanks so much for tuning in and that's my sweet dog Sansa um right there that is like well likes to watch man eh, no, she doesn't really care about the videos but she does like that I turn the AC on so we don't hear the car noise